play the next video. And uh, I was going to cut out the intro, but TJ was like, no, you have to play the intro. No, the intro is too funny not to use. Yeah, you ha everyone, you have to say this. It's pretty great. I jerk off to this intro. It's the Jesus countdown. <laughs> White Jesus cares about your problems. Red King Hollywood. We only really have to ask him what, why he calls himself Red King Hollywood. He doesn't live in Hollywood. Because he's one hell of a showman. Yes. Oh, I don't think so. It's a dynamic performance that we get every time. Yeah, I'm going to have to disagree. <laughs> da -da -da. Please subscribe, comment, and rate all at once. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, hold on. This is Brett Keen Hollywood. He he got Kenny Rogers to guest star. For him. <laughs> My name is Brett Keen from the YouTube channel Brett Keen Hollywood. They're on your channel. This video they're is not dedicated confused. to Christians, Muslims, pagans, Jews, and anybody that believes in a god out there. Deist, pantheist, whatever. Um, as you probably realize, atheists have come to the conclusion that every single one of us are punching bags. They basically <laughs> <laughs> punch Brett Keen. Punch him. Punch him now. You're an atheist punching bag, buddy. Atheists have come to the conclusion we are all punching bags to be punched with their fists. They disagree with us, therefore we are punching bags. <laughs> Think that they can come to our channels and leave hundreds of dislikes, not even watch a video, leave comments calling us every single name in the book. They, they think they can so, come so dislike our videos. No, well, here's the thing. We we want them to watch your videos, Brett. So that's why we're going to take the time to play your entire video for them. I don't know if we'll watch, watch the it. entire thing. But. <laughs> but, I mean, if you open yourself to a public forum, it's like, don't criticize me. It's like, okay, there's plenty of premature people in it who are just going to attack you. Like, you're a fat old guy. I mean, that's the nature of the Internet. That's the nature of trolling. Yeah, I didn't I just post a video recently where I showed some of my uh, hate comments? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I did. I did. uh a, th a thing where I showed a bunch of comments that I've received where people were hating on me. You don't see me fucking coming on here like, all, you know, yeah. Christians are mean to me. You, you, you get thousands of, of dislikes a month. You don't just quit YouTube because, like, people dislike my video. Oh, my God, I need to retire now. You know, I don't even have a problem with, with most of the things he's about to say here. The, the thing I have a problem with is when he talks about flagging people. Yeah, which we'll get to yeah. shortly. Yeah, okay. I Why don't we, this, can we skip this, maybe skip ahead of that a little? Uh, I, I don't know exactly where it is, so we'll just get to it. He'll get to it pretty soon here. Okay, cool. This All is right. perfectly moral on their part. They believe that they're in the right. They believe that they're justified because they don't see us as human beings. They see us as animals. Okay, they see that's us. bullshit. Human beings are animals. Yeah, first of all. And that means, I mean, I, that means I see myself as an animal, too. Yeah, but I mean, it's it. He's basically that's saying, not what he's implying. No, he's but implying he's, yeah, we, he's we Im see them as different. Yeah, he's implying that there's like some pseudo speciation going on, which is like you know we're dehumanizing them. Like, well, if you believe in God, you're just yeah. garbage. Well, the thing, the, the fucked up thing about that is that uh, we all realize that atheists are the minority, and they're and they're small. We atheists, we're a small minority, which means we have people we care about who are religious people. Right, and I don't, you know. I don't see them as animals, you know, and I don't want to abuse them, you know, people in my family. So I, it's it's such a, a general statement that he's making here that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a very generalized statement about all atheists. Like, you know, atheists think we're our, we're punching bags and they'll fucking abuse us. He's stereotyping atheists. That's all he's doing. And... He's stereotyping everyone against him is like this, basically. It's just not true. Sorry. Everyone who don't agree with me is dehumanizing me as an animal. <laughs> Man, you have a gift, TJ. I know, right? You should have been a jingle writer. It's true. This is garbage. They see our belief system as being mentally ill or delusional. Well, what's <clears throat> funny is that he was an atheist for years and basically was one of the worst about that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Now, I remember him calling uh, theists, whatever. Uh, mentally ill and delusional yeah so. i mean he, he was like he was the one that other atheists would often look to and be like well we're not as extreme as brett keen is <laughs> that, that, that's kind of ironic i didn't really know that you know that's funny because recently he made a video with g-man 
where G-Man was kind of playing devil's advocate with him, saying, you know, why do all these people hate you, Brett Keen? We're going to ask you the tough questions. And he asked him a question about that, and he said, well, atheists hated me because I was more respectful than the rest of them. He actually says that in no. that video. That's, that's, a, that's typical Brett Keen revisionist uh, history. And, and Brett Keen told me he'd be watching tonight, and, uh, you know, we, I did want to let everyone know we do plan on having him on sometime in the, in the, near, in future. the near future. So he can address these things that we said. We plan on having him on for, for a while. So, uh, yeah, so we'll just continue playing this here. The Bible, as well as the Quran, as well as many of these religious texts. Did he call it the Quran? <laughs> the Quran. <laughs> like it's, it's the Quran. The Quran. The Quran. The yeah. Bible and the Quran. <laughs> here, which I it use to scribble pictures to of Jesus to in the Bible. <laughs> and decent and nice to people. It tells us that we ought to love people and that we ought to forgive people. But the Bible never teaches us nor the Quran to sit back and allow ourselves to be pounded on or beat up or humiliated doesn't or embarrassed. It, doesn't it specifically say wow, that if you're if you it says turn the other cheek if someone slaps you in the face? I think that actually is a yes. It, that, and it tells you to that keep is a doing quote it directly from Jesus in the Bible. Yeah, and it keeps telling you to do that over and over. It's not just like one time. It's like even it's pretty much it wasn't like a thousand times or something. It's like some ridiculous. I yeah, know. I mean that's in that's in the book. So. Yeah. It, they say if someone slaps one cheek, turn your 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 face and offer them the other one. Yeah. In so many words. Right. So I mean, to say that's not in there is kind of bullshit. But whatever, you know, everyone has their interpretation of the scripture. That's not the case. It does tell us it will happen that those who hate Jesus Christ will also hate us too. But we don't have to sit back and do nothing about it, ladies and gentlemen. No, you're supposed the to Bible offer the other actually... cheek. Yeah, and you know what? I... <laughs> I don't even really it, – it's funny how he says those who hate Jesus Christ. I don't hate Jesus Christ. Like, I don't hate the historical figure that may or may not have existed. Yeah. It's uh, what others who live in today's day and age that <clears throat> do horrible and disgusting things in his name that I have a problem with. Right. But no, no, it's because we hate Jesus. Yeah. Fuck you, Jesus. Fuck you. Tells us that if you're dealing with fools or you're dealing with people who just want to argue and debate, who just want to fight you, and they're not really seeking the truth, you're to wipe the dust from your feet and walk in the other direction. It also tells us that it is perfectly okay to ignore people who are yelling at us and screaming at us. Sure. You'll see many times in passages where Pharisees tried to challenge Jesus Christ to set him up. Just try to challenge him to a rap battle. By the way, I want to point out that this is someone who will not take on the label of Christian. Right. He, 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 de he believes in the divinity of Jesus Christ, but he's still not comfortable with calling himself a Christian. He tries to say that he, can st that he still cannot be defined as a Christian, even though he believes in God and believes in the divinity it's of a, Jesus. I wanted to go back here and, and uh, read a, uh, a ser the Sermon on the Plain from the Gospel of Luke. Okay. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them that despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away the cloak, forbid him to take thy forget forbid him not to take thy cloak also. Give to every man that asketh of thee. And of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. So, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it, it does say kind of, it, it kind of does say, you know, to, uh, to take shit off of people and just, you know, treat them real nicely no matter what. So, I mean, for him to be like, you know, the Bible doesn't say nothing like that. Yeah, it kind of does. I mean, there's probably other parts of the Bible that do say the opposite because the Bible is riddled with fucking contradictions, but... TJ, you just don't understand the Word of God. That's true. I don't. He would move along, and he would talk to the people who actually were willing to listen. <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus also has stated and pointed out that there's going to be a time where love your enemy and do unto others <laughs> and love your neighbor, <clears throat> all this kind of stuff... There's a, a point where there's a limit to it. Yeah, there's a point right. where it there is. is. At where the end Jesus of the Bible, Jesus fucking you'll... pulls, pull, you know, reaches behind him and pulls out a fucking M16, and it's like Jesus <laughs> is back, bitch. <laughs> the second coming. 
the king of beers presents the king of kings. <laughs> see very clearly that Jesus Christ will return and there will be wrath, there will be destruction, and non-believers will pay for all of the nastiness that they ever said you about God the Bible or to be about true. Christians. Well, okay, so hold on. Are hold. you? Is he going to pay for the nastiness he said about God? Yeah, about how about Christians? the blasphemy challenge? Yeah, I mean, Brett Keane took the blasphemy challenge. Which is supposed? I mean, he uttered the the yeah. unforgivable sins. So. Yeah, tell people about that so because some I mean, well, everyone might know what that is. That's you know, a long time ago, on the early days of YouTube, there was a group called the Rational Response Squad. They yes. were an, a little atheist group. They're not around anymore. They kind of fizzled out into oblivion. They actually but, had a prime time debate against Kirk Cameron and Ray Comfort. Yes, and. Um, but at the time, they were giving away free copies of The God Who Wasn't There, which you can now watch on Netflix um, if you want to watch that documentary. Um, they were giving away free copies. All you had to do was utter, was, you know, deny the power of the Holy Spirit, because apparently, it, according to Scripture, that is the one sin that, that cannot be forgiven, no matter what sort of penance you try to make. So it's basically, you know, if you're an athe you, you know, atheist, we're saying it just to show that, Scripture doesn't have any power over them. And Brett Keane was one of the participants who uh, took the blasphemy challenge, denied the Holy Spirit. So, you know, all this, all this Brett Keane acting like a Christian now is for naught, because if Jesus does in fact exist and the Bible is his inerrant word, Brett Keane will be cast into hell to burn for all eternity with the rest of us. So is, is he trying to say, though, that that doesn't apply to him because he's vindicated through yeah, Jesus now? I'm sure. Okay. But that doesn't matter because it's the unforgivable sin. Yeah. So. I see. So there's no way. No matter how much he sucks Jesus' cock now, <laughs> yeah. he's still going to hell. Paul's Jesus is not from now until the end of, uh, Jesus the end of gonna, all days. Jesus might look down and say, my son, that is the best blowjob I ever had, but you still must go to hell. <laughs> and everybody will be like, no, Jesus, please. <laughs> going straight down to hell. The That's God believe Bruce the, the sound the of Red Keenan hell. While you're on YouTube, if you have persistent people, repeat offenders who continue to make videos attacking you and insulting you, like you, you did to me, where you fucking made like a debate. series of videos about how like I'm a piece of shit, and you uh, supposedly threatened his family and his yes. life. Yes. If, the, if you notice, the, this, we, this audio that I made sound like you sounds like you. And, and the gotcha game he played with you. Like, I'm not trying to play the gotcha game, but I'm going to dredge up this quote from you for three years ago and see how you respond to it. But I'm not playing the gotcha game. Yeah. Like, why would you do that then? And if you've noticed, uh, we haven't said a word about Brett Keane's family since we've been talking about him on the show here. Obviously, that's something that's off the limits. He's the one putting himself out there. Brett Keane's family is fucking garbage. Okay. They're fucking garbage. Yeah, we don't know anything about them, nor do we, like, Fuck we yo. don't care about them. Fuck yo, Brett Keane's family. <laughs> Fuck yo. Okay, TJ. If, if, if TJ wants to say it, that's fine, but me and Ben don't no, Yeah, yeah, me I'm and ben don't care. I'm obviously being facetious. I know, yeah. but me and Ben don't care. About no, no, yeah. No, no, no one, no one gives a fuck about insulting Brett Keane's family. Yeah, it's just yeah. ludicrous. Yeah, they're not the ones putting themselves out there, so. You need to keep in mind that atheists... They don't care about freedom of speech. They don't care about your videos. <laughs> they are more than willing to report your videos and not. Okay, so right now he's talking about how atheists don't care about freedom of speech and they'll report your videos. So what you should do is report them back. <laughs> atheists don't care about freedom Brian of speech. Right, needs to look up the definition of hypocrisy. Yeah. If someone striketh you on one cheek, punch the fuck out of them. What he's saying is that's how he, I know what he's getting at. You need to respond because otherwise they'll just have all the Christians removed from YouTube. He's just leading down some slippery slope. Thing I want sure. the Christians on YouTube. I yeah, want of course. them on. I mean, like, I'm not against them having videos. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Anyone that flags them falsely is stupid. Absolutely. Knock you down whether you're being disrespectful or not. People because used they to... don't care about you. They don't. People have. Br flagged Brett Keane's videos when he was an atheist tons of times. So I don't know how he's acting like this is some sort of problem that's divided down religious lines or something. Dude, when Ray William Johnson was the biggest YouTube channel, people like he got videos removed for copyright and other things. So it's like it happens to everyone on YouTube. It's not just like it happened to only him. This is just Brett Keane's problem. This is a, this is a part of the YouTube system that is flawed pretty clearly. Right. So, yeah.
and people take advantage of it. Of course. Everyone should look up the uh, old video, Venom Fang X apologizes to the internets <laughs> about, about that and what happens if you uh, false flag people. They don't care about your speech. They don't care about what it is that you believe or view, so they don't mind destroying your YouTube channels. They get off on it. For them, it's fun to knock people down. For them, it's oh, fun to yeah. use your channel oh, to attack oh, you repeatedly. Yeah, getting off on it. YouTube this channel down? Oh, I got a big old boner. Oh, 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 Brett Keith's well channel. Guidelines. Fuck it down. <laughs> oh, fuck you. oh, take it down. People are doing these oh, things. take it down now. Oh, oh God. Oh god, the thought of flagging Brett Keane's channel just got me so hot! Ooh, fuck yeah. Ooh. I had 85 sock accounts flag his video. <laughs> it's gonna be down for any minute now. Oh, he's gonna be taking it down. <laughs> like a naughty bitch. <laughs> Atheists get popular and they get paid on YouTube to treat you like dirt. Well, you don't have to you, sit you back are dirt. and allow that. Who is you? You got that. If you were working for a you business, that, which you See, and I have to think, like, who is he talking about there? specifically you know no one that's why he's not mentioning anyone's <laughs> name specifically you, you. atheists yeah. atheist and you everything's so vague and stereotypical atheists basically. do this like specifically who atheists all they, atheists they, they're out there just atheists in the general. atheist in the shadows with his satanic altar <laughs> soon, soon <we> <laughs> brett keen hollywood will be destroyed <laughs> are a member of the YouTube site, it asks that you let them know if there's someone who is violating their terms of suit or service and community guidelines. It almost sound like you said Even terms of you soup for a second. Even if you consider yourself a person Terms of soup. Delicious. And it really doesn't bother you that bad or offend you, you have to realize that these same people also go over to Christians who are 10 years old and children attack them. They Ten also years attack think of the children. children. I'm think sorry. Think of the children. Brett, that's bullshit. <laughs> Come on, man. No, you know, he's talking about, well, well, He's he's gonna just he's gonna talk well, about it yeah, more let, later. But, let's let him get to. But his what point, what do you what do you, well yeah let let him let him let him speech it because then we can fucking talk about the context yeah. of like this incident he's actually referring to. Young girls, which was shown recently, where a female ended up leaving YouTube because the atheist community wouldn't leave her alone. A couple of years back, I remember they attacked a ten-year-old little boy just because he said that he didn't agree or support homosexuality. They have so much hate. Is he talking about Caden Calger? No, he he's no. talking about the kid. He's talking about is this kid that came on, who was like I don't know. He just he got online and he fucking like made this adamant speech about how he wasn't gay. Yeah, I am not. Gay. What was he kind of feminine or something? Yes, or? he was pretty feminine. But I mean, like, it was just like it was too fucking, like it was funny, and the kid was homophobic, and like, why was a ten year old just like given this sort of unfiltered access? You, you, you know what's funny? He talks about YouTube to post videos, YouTube on the terms internet. of service, but you're not like I'm pretty sure you have to be over thirteen to actually without, without your parents' permission register for a website. So either his parents knew he was doing this, or he did it in violation of the terms of service. Right, so either yeah. way, we uh, I, I I just don't like the generalization that he's making here. We don't and, attack and, ten and year olds. How do you know? I mean, like, how do you know it was atheists doing that anyway? The thing about it is that I, I mentioned Caden Calger a second ago. We uh, we've we think Caden Calger is a pretty disgusting little little kid, but we've held off talking about him because he's a, a kid still. So uh, we we've decided not even to cover his videos until. You know, he's an adult and he can make an informed decision. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I just don't like the whole, well, atheists attack 10-year-olds thing. It's bullshit. He's trying to demonize a atheists, obviously. But, yeah. like, ev everything in this video is just a generalization about these vague atheists who are doing these things, and he has no specific examples. The atheist shadow world. We have like we have like a whole command structure and like a base somewhere where we're like destroying Christians. Shh, don't tell him, Scotty. Shh, oh shit, I'm sorry. Jeez. Asshole. Fuck, dude. Come I on. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> they felt that they had to tell uh, a ten-year-old, leave hundreds of comments telling a child to kill himself. Kill yourself, like child. Okay. Brett, you've been on YouTube a long time. You know what a fucking troll is. The, these are not atheists that make money off of YouTube. These are fucking crazy people that leave comments on, on YouTube to fuck with people. 
They could be anybody. Even, a, a, a troll will pretend like they're anybody and even argue against positions that they actually believe in just to fuck with people. Yeah, just to get a rise out so of So when someone goes to a channel and tells someone to kill themselves, that's obviously not a regular person on yeah, it's YouTube. not like fucking paul's ego is like hey like appearing on camera hey would you guys uh go tell this kid to fucking kill himself dusty yeah. showed up hey guys i heard about this kid said this shit kill why don't y'all tell him to go kill himself yeah i don't see fucking jacqueline glenn coming uh, kill kill yourself kid i never said kill yourself kid who the fuck is doing this trolls atheists it's just atheists like, somewhere atheists the scourge of the internet pointed out that he did not wasn't into homosexuality this is a 10 year old kid 10 year old don't care about any kind of sex for that matter doesn't have any interest that's in not you true. didn't you didn't know me when i was i'm 10 just years i was old. just say like man <laughs> i was 10 years old and i remember being a horny little fucker so yeah, i remember like, watching the scramble naked, porn naked girls yeah. naked girls where where you know? Like stealing Victoria's <laughs> Secret catalogs and fucking running in my room like, yeah. Need well, to examine this a little bit more closely. Yeah, TJ told us before that, you know, he looked older for his age when he was younger so he could buy porno mags. Not quite when I was 10. No. But, you know. No, no way. <laughs> Maybe like 15 or 16. Yeah, when I was like 15, 16 years old, I could buy them. Even when I was 14, I could buy them pretty much. If I went to the fucking Indian grocer, yeah, who just gave, wants to make money, gave no fucks whatsoever, and probably just dude, you know. total off topic. He tried Hello, to, Mr. Total he tried to sell me cigarettes one time too. He was like, "You want cigarette?" I'm like, "Uh, I'm like yeah. 13." Yeah, this guy was like 13, and the guy's like, "Oh, you want cigarette now? You <laughs> smoke?" That sounded more Chinese than whatever. Uh, okay. He wished he was Chinese. Though, they were like, kind of um, Asian-y, though. They, they were. They, they weren't. They weren't like. Well, Indians are Asian. Yeah, they. But they were like more towards like the you know. I think he was Chinese. But that's that's totally. Aggression. He might have been like Malaysian. They were like yeah. Like. They were some one of those little middle areas between the two. <laughs> there was one of them. We're strange things over there in the Asia land. <laughs> one of them. One of them damn races, you know. Kind of got the darker skin, but still got the slanty eyes. You know I don't what know what you about. call them. Indonesian, maybe. Something like Some, that. Yeah, who cares? They're anyway, crazy. they fucking would sell you anything. Like, they'd sell crack to a toddler. It doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah, they did not care. As long, as long as they made a profit, it's all good. Any kind of sex whatsoever. But the atheist community, as rational and logical as they are, thought that, hey, let's treat the kid like total garbage. Oh, <laughs> sarcasm. The point is, the atheist is that community did this. Yeah, oh. yeah. The atheist community. Where is your fucking evidence? I that know the atheist community. I know that Brett is smarter than this, and he knows about trolls. He's been around long enough. He knows that this isn't the atheist community doing this. He, of course, he does. Meanwhile, at the atheist community, because to because us, to show us all evil and sitting in a room. Legion because of even before <laughs> Brett believed in God he wouldn't have done things like this himself. So why does he think atheists would do this now? Why would he, why would he in the past have been, have been part of this community if, uh, if atheists were capable well, remember, of doing though, this kind in, of shit? In, in his alternate view of history, it, 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 the reason he stopped being an atheist was because he, the other atheists rejected him for being too respectful. Yeah, that's what he says. And wasn't it also like he got donations after he asked for them, so that's, God, God exists? That's the video where he announced to everyone that he had become a believer in God because he was at the end of his rope and he prayed to God and then people responded to him asking for money and the majority <laughs> of them... The majority of them were Christian. I think there's a disconnect. It's like if you just prayed and then it happened randomly, like here's a thousand dollars. At least you have something. Yeah, I still yeah. wouldn't believe it. Yeah, I still wouldn't believe it either. But at least that's something. Not like <laughs> I went back. In Please my give house. me money. Someone gives me money. God did it. Thank you. <laughs> you leave a, a comment on my channel, or you upload your own video. And an atheist comes along and starts grilling you and calling you every name in the book and calling you retard or loser or Christard. All you have to do is just right click on their comment and send the report over to YouTube. <coughs> if you see that someone is making a TV series really, about really? you over and over Christard? and over, calling you a fat loser, piece of garbage, that you deserve to die. Oh You're a Christard. Uh. Christard is, is worthy of being reported, really? Seriously? You, you Christ hard. Like, You're going to fucking internet jail, bitch. I could understand, like, if someone made a video on YouTube and they clearly had some sort of mental retardation, 
and calling them a retard. Uh, hi, you know. guys. How's it going? Find any Fucking con- retard. You know yeah. what? Find any controversial topic on any site anywhere and find people not slinging insults. Unless it's strictly moderated, you're going to see that. I, I don't understand what the fuck he's getting at. Dude, that, that happens in, like, movie forums. It's like, yeah, man, fucking... Yeah, Captain I- America was good. You're a fucking moron. Captain America was a turd, which is apparently what you have for brains if yeah. you thought that movie was worth the fuck, faggot. What, what he's doing is painting internet trolls as the atheist community, which he knows. I know he, he knows yeah, that that's he, not true. He knows it's not true. It's just a narrative that he's selling to people that he thinks are dumber than he is. Exactly. Exactly. So we'll play out a little bit more of this, and then we'll move on to something else. Yeah. Uh, and all this kind of crap. Just flag the video. Report it. <laughs> really? Censor their freedom of speech. You so can we just like cut back and forth between Brett King going, atheists don't believe in freedom of speech. Just flag it. Just flag I, the video. If I would have had time to edit something like that, I would have done that. I I really, really, I know I've said this before, but I really wanted Brett Keen debating himself, but he, he's gotten rid of a lot of his old videos. Yeah, they're not there. Yeah. And, like, does Brett Keen understand what freedom of speech is? Like, YouTube is a privately run site. If they don't want someone on the site, they can remove them. That's the nature of YouTube. Yes. It's not like the government is coming down and saying, Brett Keen, you can't, you can't have to stop that. It's totally lost on him. He's the one that's trying to censor, though. Exactly. But I'm like, saying, does he understand what he's talking about? Atheists don't believe in freedom of speech. Try to censor atheists. I don't know. Yeah, it's only theists throughout human history that have censored what people can and cannot say <laughs> and what religions they can and cannot believe in. It was, you know, it's it's ridiculous. Seriously. I don't know. Um, somewhere. Whoa, that's my mic thing. Oh, yeah. That's my so headphones. I'm going to play a little more while, uh, Which, while we work out our yeah. <laughs> bullshit issues. Into your face. But if you've already dealt with someone over and over and they are showing that they will not listen or pay attention to you, then they're literally taking up the spot of someone that you could sow seeds to, that you could potentially help. I was talking to G-Man earlier and I was saying, hey, there's people that you keep bringing into your rooms where they're filling up all the spots and they're saying the same thing over and over. G-Man says the same thing over and over. <laughs> So does true empiricism. Disprove God. Disprove God. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and G-Man knows what he's doing. He's a grown man. He he keeps talking to TJ over and over and over again. He, he's, he just made a video the other day calling TJ out again. So G-Man knows what's going on. G-Man wants the exposure he's getting. He's, you know, I, I think as far, I, I think he's willfully ignorant of a lot of the things that people say to him, but I don't think he's incapable of understanding what's going on. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it, he's playing the victim card really hard here. Put it back in the fucking deck, bitch. <laughs> Put it back Put in it the back. fucking deck. 